Offering. What a track. What a track. <laughs> yes. Come on. It, it is not that I don't like the offering. Shh, yeah, I mean, you can't. But... I mean, I feel like you can't not like the offering, but I, I understand what's coming. <laughs> I, I get my, it. My issue is... Yes? Is I will start with the night does not belong to God. Yeah. And then the offering happens, and it feels like I have to get through the offering to get to levitate. Or is it the other way around? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to get through the night does not belong to God to get to the offering? Look, let me let me put it to you this way. Yes, let me just sure. I understand this is a much heavier song. Yeah, I think for me it is just the fact that the second half of the song, there's just not actually any lyrics. It's just... It's just, it's just feeling and emotion and badassery. Yeah. That's how you should be looking at this. I get what you're saying. Yeah. I understand. You're looking the the connection as we discussed last time. Yes. The connection that you have is certainly a more uh, lyric focused emotional connection. Yeah, and I I think it's the it is the the power balladness of all of these songs. Sure. You know the the being able to sit in your car and just really belt it out but then this song stops singing halfway through and just and gives then, you raw emotion and and yes i'm sitting in my car going yeah that's what you should do but eventually well eventually i want to i want to go back to power balloting oh you know what i forgot to leave up there is the lyrics ah, yes. uh, i'll just bring them back up there, there for we us go. Real quick. so yeah i understand what you're saying i i think that there is a uh, um there is definitely a, a breakdown in, in difference between the songs. That means that the, the breakdown, which I learned as we were listening, that that, that was what it was called. Yeah. Because I was like, do you know when it gets like really high and then it holds there and then like in a dance song... It like, builds up to yeah, break down. That's, that's the it. That's the way this yeah, works. The breakdown is great. Just yeah, that's the me, part without the lyrics. For me, it just goes for too long. <laughs> I need there to be something else. I need it to break down and then have yeah, something else It's happen. funny, I guess, as coming from at least this is my opinion anyway but coming from like a musician's standpoint and there's I like the a difference. I you get into a groove of a certain number of bars of the same thing mm -hmm. and then you feel like you need another one now if they cut it off too early you mm -hmm. would definitely notice the difference yes. and it wouldn't sound right yes that's all I, I think that there's a certain resolution that comes with this. And it happens a lot in a lot of Sleep Token songs. Mm. They do a lot of fade-outs rather than ends. Yes, they do do a lot of fade-outs, don't they? Yeah, which is fine. You know, it works for, for certain things. It certainly has a different 
sort of feel to it because of that. But anyway, I think that it was awesome. <laughs> and and I, I, as far as I understand, I understand they play this song a lot live. Yeah, fair. Uh, because it obviously is a big thing. Second, second of all, if we're going to just quickly segue into the discussion of the song itself and the yes. lyrics and the meaning, the offering is like the song that this is all about. Yeah. Everything <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that they do from this point forward is, you know, this is an offering. Yes. Um, and I think it's been picked up by the community like us and other people to when they do something everything's their offerings to you know sleep and to this situation and this kind of um thing so i think that the offering does very much encapsulate the basic nature of the basic law of sleep, sleep token. token yeah that's yeah. what it feels like to me when you look at some of the lyrics right entwined sacred he does love an entwined oh he loves a bit of an entwining Garden. Yes. Teeth. Yes. Bite. Mm -hmm. Offering. Sacrifice. All of these words are essentially the the encyclopedia of what's yes. coming. Yes, he took them and he just scattered them throughout the... And the rest of it. The trilogy. Yeah. I think the motion of... like, And I still think that this is talking about sleep mm. in and of itself. And this is vessel talking to sleep right that's the difference between like this is his offering to sleep exactly yeah. and i know in the last episode i was like i don't really see sleep in the songs but in this one it, it... <laughs> you backtracked <laughs> yeah i'm gonna backtrack often sure um yeah this one does feel like it is it is vessel singing to sleep correct and i think that and like i said in the last episode there are some songs to me that paint the picture of allegory and some that are removed from that, and this is now one of those songs. This yeah. is removed from the allegory of the sundowning situation. Yes. This is just, oh, that this, was Johnson. This sits separately to that. Yes, this is the offering. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so, like, the things that I see in here, the things that, you know, this relates a lot more to the, the whole of Sleep Token because of some of the reuse of the lyrics and, mm -hmm. and some of the terminology here, but... Take a bite is like the thing that he talks about the most. Yeah, he loves a bite. He loves biting things. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I've had a lot of time to sit with this and there are certain songs that use it maybe better than others and, mm -hmm. and where it fits better than other songs. But um, I have a problem in that I don't understand if he's asking sleep to, you know take a bite which mm -hmm. to me is uh, yeah. experience me yeah it feels like come back to experience me yeah take a bite so then if that's the case mm -hmm. i get the feeling that it's probably sleep talking to vessel do you get what i'm saying no i thought it was vessel saying come back to me come back to my dreams yeah and take a bite of me come back and experience me vessel <laughs> Yeah, it's just that... You sleep, come back to me. Are you asking... Let me try and find a different way to phrase this. Mm. I'm asking sleep mm -hmm. to come and take a bite of me. Yes. Right? So... That was how I interpreted it. Yeah, okay. No, it does... It sort of works. Mm. It still works. Because I don't know if... Like, that, that feels like a very human thing, that he is kind of like, hello, God, can you come back... To me, can you revisit me in my dreams? Can you re-experience me? Whereas I feel like a song that is of sleep to vessel would sound different. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I guess you've got diamonds, t diamonds for teeth, right? You've got diamonds for teeth. Yeah, sorry, I, I messed that up <laughs> thrice. Uh, you've got diamonds for teeth, mm -hmm. right? Is then you can't fight sleep and him taking a bite i mm -hmm. guess and and i think sometimes that this actually does fall into a very specific sleep as in sleep like, sleeping yeah i get you yeah, yeah. the right? action of sleeping dreaming is yep. a big part of it and so falling asleep and dreaming is mm -hmm. still sort of that same kind of thing and so you can't diamonds being the strongest thing and then taking a bite out of you it's sort of an unfightable thing yeah, yeah you yeah, just yeah. have to accept 
the thing. And then I want to turn the page once again. Mm-hmm. Keep dreaming the dream. Yes, Keep I, having I, the... I want to experience that dream again. The story continuing. But I, but I can't do that unless you come back. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So this is an offering to you. Yes. Come back. This is a this coupon is a giving. to you. And, oh, yeah. Come back to my restaurant. Yeah, one coupon, please, yes, of sleep. That's it. Um, so yeah, so then, but then, because I'm saying here that where that switches, the reason why I have a hard time with it, and this mm. is what I was saying, and I, I realized I forgot to mention the second verse here, but I didn't even take any notes this time. It's fine. In a sacrifice in your name, but I know you've got a taste, mm-hmm. so take a bite out of me. D- does is it sleep? Is he saying that sleep? desires him i think he's saying you came to me originally because i didn't come to you yeah. i can't cross into yeah whatever plane you're in you came to me sure i know you've had a taste so come on back just uh, come on back have a little have, have a, a little, little have a little bite of uh, a vessel secondsies yeah just have secondsies and then elevensies yeah have elevensies of vessel he says if i could be breakfast lunch dinner secondsies elevensies that'd be dope because you've already had a taste yeah 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 yeah. because remember you propositioned me yeah not the other way around that's true that's so true. maybe you can come back and, and you can turn the page you know that does paint again a bigger picture of this thing because i think that the only interview right mm. that there was um describes that Vessel came to uh, sl- sleep came to vessel in a dream. Yeah, and then that's what this became, right? So, that's, he didn't summon him. No, correct. Um, and so then turn the page once again. Again, same thing. Continue the story. Yeah. Give in. Let me lay. Yeah, that one I give in again. So come back to me. Let me lay. I have no idea. Go to sleep. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just let me go to sleep. Just let me lay down. Yeah, fair. Yeah. My arms br- belong around you, which I suppose is just, you know, come together and yeah. that, that sort of thing. Take a bite. I want to know. I want to. Right? That's the... I need more of the story. That's and the point. Because I want to turn the page. That's all that's missing from there is yeah. turn the page. And then it shifts into take a bite, mm-hmm. which then, you know, in terms of the motion of the song, that's when the stuff starts to get heavy. Yes. And that's the dreaming, right? Like, that's mm-hmm. the, take the a turning bite. of the page. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I, I I think that's it. Yeah. If you have a very different interpretation... <laughs> yeah. which, and I'm sure you will. Yeah. <laughs> please leave a comment down below. We'd love yeah. to know what your interpretation is of the lyrics and where it sits in the overall arching story. Yeah. Whether or not you think there's a full story, you think the songs are individual, and there's obviously a theme going on, right? So, yeah, we'd love to know what you think and, and, and let us know down below um, your thoughts and, and we'll keep telling you ours. <laughs> yeah. So, like we said last time, we are ranking the songs on a fluid chart, but separate rankings between the two of us because we have... Very different musical tastes. Very different musical tastes <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> but again, Sleep Talk is a thing that brought that, that has brought us together in terms of musical taste, which has been fantastic. Yes. I've enjoyed that step in our relationship. Yes. It's Having a, a mutual musical group to talk about has been a lot of fun. Yes. So um, it's going to build on each episode again, which is something I didn't mention last time, but I mean, it, it, maybe it was obvious. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, my cat just bit me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Johnson. Ah, uh, Johnson. Uh, um, yeah, so we, uh, obviously there's my ranking last time, The Night Does Not Belong to God. I put it at number five. Um, and just before we continue, oh, yeah. we will have this in the description so that you can download and you can play along at home as well. We'd yeah. love to know what your rankings are. Please. So, The Offering. Yes. This it's hard, but I'm gonna let's just pop that in number two position. Number two. Number two. Number two. N- number two position. You're saying I I I'm, I'm trying to say right. Let me let me this let me justify because yes, if if you do play along at home, we'd love to know what your rankings are, but we'd also love for you to justify why you have put which song where. So yeah. where you where you've put the offering and why you believe it should go there. Yeah. So okay, let me justify. Yeah. 
Justifying. Justifying. Begin justification. I'm saying to you that I need a, I need the offering is great. Sure. Let me start there. What an awesome what a banger. What a banger. What a banger. Right. Right? Banger status. It is a banger status. I'm saying that there is definitely a distance between the night does not belong to God and this song. Yes. It's not far enough at the moment that I need to uh, make you know it number one or something or push down the night does not belong to God because I've got plenty of space. Yes. Early in the game here, we have plenty of space. Yes. This is Taking Me Back to Eden is going to be a very hard album to do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get there. Uh, but I'm saying that I can't, I don't know if I can give anything the number one position as of yet. Yep, fair, 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 but fair. But damn, that was a banger. All right, so we've got... <laughs> the offering. Pop it in there. Good. Wonderful. That's where I sit at the moment. Again, this is a fluid system. I'm not committing to anything yeah. until we get to that final episode. Right? Yes, where it's all. Then it's we all need solidified. to we need to solidify that list. Yeah. Hi, Alfred. Okay, so uh, yeah, yours. What's yours? Where is it going? Don't yeah, don't break my heart. <laughs> I was going to put the offering at about twenty. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, so that's... If that's what twenty, <laughs> she's really doing it, folks. It's happening. It's happening live in front of you. Um, <sighs> mainly. <laughs> <laughs> Just um, justify, please. Justify. 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 I like it. You want to get a divorce? Let's yeah, let's yeah, yeah, start yeah. there. I I thought that if the night does not belong to God is in the top ten. <laughs> I like the offering maybe half as much. <laughs> okay, well. So I thought maybe it should go at 20. I was originally going to put it at 30. 30? But then I thought, no, there are, oh there are a few more songs that I don't like as much. <laughs> sure. Uh, as the offering. Okay, well. Uh, and, and we'll get there. But, yeah. and I, I feel like... The, the Sleep Token fandom mm. have kind of now seen where we sit on those spectrums. So I'm sure many people can guess the songs that I'm like, mm, like it, but not quite as much. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where it's going for me. It's at number 20. Okay. Again... Uh, we'll have a link to download the uh, to download this PDF and, and maybe join in. I I just want you to know that I designed this thing. It's not fantastic, so I think it's great. It it serves its purpose. I know. It just I feel like I didn't leave enough space. No, it's fine. Anyway, Look, I can I can make it smaller. We'll um we'll leave uh, we'll leave this up <laughs> for you so that oh nice there we go. so that you can. Uh, you can follow along, and again, we'd love to know what your rankings are, but remember, justifications are important. Yes. We'd love to know some justification behind it. Yes. So. I'd be very curious, like, if this is your number one song, I'd love to know why. Yeah. Or if this is your least favourite song, which seems wild, but that one guy in the subreddit, he said that his least favourite was Euclid, and that that takes up a lot of space in my brain. Mm -hmm. So I'd, I'd love to know. So All please. Right. Yeah. Down below. Let us know. Bye. Bye.